Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of my photography vlog. Um, today I am on Rocky Bay, which is on the coastline of Cork. And I'm going to try and do something different, is that I want to do some um, different types of episodes and different really viewpoints from not only my point of view and how I take photos but from other successful photographers as well. So what I'm going to do today is um, do a very quick piece with a very good photographer, his name is Rodney O'Callaghan. I'm going to ask him some simple questions and hopefully we'll follow the same process of questions when I meet with different photographers so the audience can see how they would uh, take a shot, what's their top tip. And moreover as well, you know, we'll feature the images from the feature photographer at the end of each vlog as well. So, yeah, I'll commence in a moment. We'll just get Rodney set up and then we can have a chat from there. Landscape, uh, seascape photographer, and um, I suppose when I say landscape, being at the sea is my is my passion. This is where I'm most at ease. So um, this is where I can be found most of the time. So we're um, we're here in Rocky Bay, and um, we've been traipsing around the countryside this evening. And we've, we've settled here, and there's a good chance that we're going to get some some nice light this evening. Sony mirrorless system. I have an A7R. Um, the Alpha system. I have an A7 um, with a 1645 mounted. Uh, it's my go-to lens for landscape photography. Um, uh, the A7. It's a, it's a fantastic system. It's mirrorless. Um, it's so easy to use. The whole camera is customizable. Uh, for me. Um, I can get everywhere I want very fast with the camera. It's so easy to use, foolproof, bulletproof. Um, I really enjoy using the camera. And since, since I moved to the system from uh, the Fuji, uh, I really feel that my photography has uh, improved. Okay, typically take a shot. Uh, when we arrive in the car park, I suppose you're scanning from there, you're looking through the whole scene, you're analysing, even even when you come down the road in the car, you're, you're searching the light and you're looking for possibly where you might point the camera. So here we are in Rocky Bay and from the car park, um, I, I looked to the right hand side of the beach and for me, uh, my photography is all about um, the, simple, the simple shot. Try to keep things simple. Try to, trying to keep things simple. Um, yeah, so I've, we've come here to this corner, and, and basically there are some nice foreground interests. There are some lovely layers in the sky. There's some nice colour. And I'm going to start off here. I might end up here, but I'll start off here with a composition. Doesn't mean that this is going to be my image. I might, I might end up moving left or right or even backwards. But this is my starting point. Uh, my top tip would be you have to put in the time um, there's no fast tracking in photography it's a learning curve um, you can get great cameras but great cameras don't take great shots does a carpenter is he a good carpenter because he's got a good ha a good hammer or because he's has a good technique that's very true um, for me you have to put in the time um, you have to make mistakes to learn uh, go out as often as you can um, and you'll find over time what you really like and where you like to be and you'll find your type of photography. For me, I've ended up in landscape and seascape photography. It's, it's what ticks my boat, it ticks my, uh, keeps me ticking and uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, the also, the other key is, uh, if you don't get an image, it doesn't matter. It's about being out, it's about being in the, in, in the landscape, it's about enjoying it, about being out with friends, having a good time. And if you get a shot, it's a bonus. Um, one thing that I found, uh, one I read a book, uh, it was actually in the back of a, I think it was an outdoor photography magazine, and it was a photographer giving advice, 
and the bit of advice he gave was learn about light and how to use it and I really didn't understand that at the time but as I as I got along in my photography and um, photography is all about light even bad light how you use that light That was Rodney, I hope you uh, enjoyed the brief chat that I had with him and got something to take away from your own photography when you do go out and shoot. Uh, Rodney is very successful, he has um, been published quite a lot from his own images and he also now as well runs a uh, workshop. So if you look up Light and Motion on Facebook, you'll get an opportunity you can to go out with Rodney yourself and learn from him on how to take photos and how to master light as he mentioned. Very interesting tips there and I hope you enjoyed the information uh, that Rodney gave you and um, maybe we'll see if we can do another one of these uh, with some different photographers then as time would go on. So for now, thanks very much for tuning into this episode. What will follow after here is some examples of Rodney's shots from um, today and tune into the next uh, edition the next time.